Okay, hello. Uh, in this video, we're going to get started with Code Connection and Minecraft. Uh, basically, to give you a little insight, you can use Code Connection to code in Scratch, make code, uh, code.org, and Tinker with either Minecraft Education Edition or Windows 10 Edition. Uh, originally, it was only available for Education Edition. Now, as long as you download Code Connection, which you can get at education.minecraft.net slash download, I believe, you can um, download that for free in order to integrate, you know, work with, uh, with Minecraft Windows 10 or Education Edition. So I'm going to start by launching Code Connection for Minecraft. Uh, and basically, when I, have window, when I have Minecraft open in Education Edition or Windows 10, what I would do is, if you notice here, Code Connection is asking me to enter this into the command line in Minecraft. Um, so I'm going to copy that. And now in Resume Game, I'm going to go and hit T to get to the command line, and I'm going to paste that in there. And there we have it. So it connected uh, to the server. And you see my little agent here? That's always a good sign. Now I go back to this, and it shows me these are among the ways that I things that I could code with. Um, all of them are very interesting, and uh, all four of these deal with block code. Uh, in Tinker, I think you could go between block code and, uh, actually with make code, you could go between block code and JavaScript and such. But anyway, we're going with Scratch for now. So it's going to basically load up Scratch with a Scratch X extension, um, which is something that they added specifically to incorporate uh, Minecraft blocks. So, it's loading up. And then I'm going to just get us kind of with the setup window going, and then I'm going to uh, stop this video, and we'll then go on shortly to actually working with Scratch. Now, here that we're, we're set up, Scratch X with the Scratch X extensions gives us all these blocks down here under more blocks. These are blocks that are specific to working with Minecraft. So things like moving the agent forward, um, turning, uh, teleporting the agent, all sorts of different things. Uh, tilling, destroying blocks, building, all that kind of stuff is all incorporated here. And what I'm going to do too is I'm going to put this window here, what I did was, I'm sorry, I dragged it to the left and it, it locked it, and what's really happening here is I can basically split this screen, and then I'm going to do the same with the Minecraft screen, oops, I'm going to now lock that in. So now I have a split screen view for Scratch and Minecraft Education Edition, and uh, the other thing is here, what gets me a lot of times is I want this is where you're going to be working with code, uh, which you'll see the way we have it set up now. I'd like to keep it like this, and the only way I've figured out so far is if I go to edit and use the small stage layout, then I kind of buy back this area for the coding. But I will stop there for now to keep these short and bite sized. And the purpose of this video was for you to get connected and kind of just set up your work area. So there you have it, and stay tuned for the next video on actually getting started coding. Thank you.